How's it going, bosses? Welcome back to your favorite show, The Truck Boss Show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you're up to date with all the latest trucker news. We've got a great show for you today. Here's what we have coming up. We take a look at a gorgeous throwback legendary brown Peterbilt that will make you do a double take. Plus, we chat with the trucking for millennials to find out what the new workforce looks like. So, are you ready? Let's take a ride. Legendary brown is a top classic color for a Peterbilt. In this next truck walk around, the custom paint job will leave you in awe. Take a look at Mike Carney's custom legendary brown throwback Pete. Brittany here with the Truck Boss Show. We're here with Mike, who has a pretty sweet Peterbilt. I love your rig. Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's actually a 2020 truck and trailer. Uh, 389 is the model. Uh, Great Dane, 54 foot, 12 foot spread. I it's come beautiful. out. Of, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> come out of an 83 cab over to get in this. Took me a little bit to get used to. Yeah. And I'm actually loving it now. Are you? And I put my touches to it. So I actually like older things that have actually a little more character, but you don't know until you try it. Right, and this truck has character, man. Like, it bit. is beautiful. Like, the colors, everything. Tell us about what you customized on it. I've always had blue trucks. Put a little twist to it. The paint scheme is originally called a Patriot okay. from 1976. The stripes were originally supposed to come up on top of the, on top of the cab in the bunk, um, but I told him just keep it clean, straight around. Trying to do a throwback to the day. Yeah. Being it all like old things, so. I love it, I love it. Now tell us where you're from and what you haul. Uh, from Clayton, Delaware. I haul out of Lancaster, PA, every Friday night, uh, doing LTL out to the Midwest. Whatever fits, chips. Yeah, okay, well, can you take us on a little tour of your truck? Yeah. Ooh. I added my T-valves to give it that old theme. A Little bit of goodies on the dash, not much. I eventually plan on pulling the dash out and putting the old 359 dash in. Oh, yeah? Just because that's what I like, and I'm, I miss my toggle switches. Yes. I gotta have my glitter. Yes, I know, I like it, I like it. Uh, and show us your trailer, too. 54 foot, dual temp, do fresh and frozen at the same time. It's so timeless, and I know you like old things. Do you like old movies, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. What's your favorite old movie? Polly Convoy. Oh, I was about to say it. I knew it. I Probably feel like Convoy. every person I ask, that's what they say. <laughs> I like smoking the Bandit, but Polly Convoy. Yeah, Convoy. I know. It is. It's the best. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Yep. We appreciate this. But guys, stay tuned for more. What a beautiful rig. Chris, what you got for us? Thanks, Brittany. What could the future hold for trucking? When you think about it, the possibilities are both endless and exciting. I sit down with Michael Clements of the Trucking for Millennials podcast to theorize about what the future of trucking could look like in terms of technology and its workforce. What happens when the worlds of transportation and technology collide? With an ever-changing trucking workforce, the possibilities are limitless and the future can hold very eye-opening opportunities. Like the Truck Boss team, Michael Clements, president of PVQ America and one half of the Trucking for Millennials podcast, has talked to multiple industry leaders and subject matter experts about the future of trucking. We start with what kind of tool, like the ELD, the trucking industry could adopt next. Uh, you know, I think it, it all comes down to traceability of trucks and trackability. Where is the truck at? Where is the driver at? Where is the load at? This is really an area I think that the technology is getting there, but is it available to your uh, smaller trucking company and smaller freight brokerages? We've got to put our heads together for some type of technology that's going to allow us to look and see where trucks are at for a broker or a shipper. Uh, and the, the rise in ELDs, I think, has promoted that and it's made it easier. And so I think that that's a piece of technology that you're, that, that's going to have to get here sooner than later. Chances are you've heard of the quote unquote driver shortage and many industry leaders will both rebuke and support that notion. But how do we retain these younger drivers? In today's world, children are constantly operating smartphones, tablets, and computers, so it's only natural that they will be inclined to doing things digitally. 
Could it be something as simple as changing the physical environment of the cab? I mean, how cool is it going to be one of these days whenever you get in a semi truck and this thing looks like a cockpit? You know, I mean, this thing looks like a control center. And I think that that's what the industry's moving toward. Uh, you're always going to have your your older Pete's and your older Freightliners. Your, th those trucks are always going to be needed. They're always going to be required. There's a lot of different trucking careers that you're going to have to be in that type of equipment, but strictly just to over the road and uh, in trucking companies that use the same routes every single day. Uh, those types of things are going to be or close to automated at some point. And so whenever they do get there, uh, you know, I think the cab of the truck is going to be a big deal in, in, in someone making a decision and saying, Hey, I do want to get into trucking. Look at, look at this thing I can get in and, and move across the country and it's going to drive itself half the time. I think the industry is just evolving more towards tech and I think that's going to make it more inviting for the younger generation. One aspect of careers that is very important to new generations of professionals is the values of the companies they work for. They don't want to just work and earn a paycheck. It's more about the difference they are making in the world. You know, something that we, we don't talk about enough is just the reason the holiday season happens is because of truck drivers. It's, it's not because of freight brokers like me or, or folks behind the computer. It's because of the folks driving those trucks. And I don't know if, if, if in America we're proud enough of that or not, but I think if we had, if, if the younger generation could see really the impact, you know, you hear about kids wanting to make an impact. I want to make an impact. I want to make an impact. You want to know how to make an impact? Become a truck driver and learn this industry at a young age. That's how you can make an impact in this country. I love what Michael said about if you want to make a difference, then you go and become a truck driver because I feel like not a lot of people think that you can, but you definitely can. And that's something that we're doing here at the Truck Boss Show, right? Yes, we know firsthand truck drivers make all of the difference. They move our nation. So yes, yes. truck drivers make a world a world of difference for us. And also, we have to announce our awesome trucking yoga book, uh, Boss Box Giveaway. That's right. From yeah. Mother Trucker Yoga, she wrote a book called Trucking Yoga, giving you all the best stretches. And we picked a winner for our awesome giveaway. Not only do you get the book, but you get a hat. All the you goodies. get a t-shirt. You get some pretzels. You get her the Mother Trucker Stiff Yoga Cream. Mm -hmm. You get all of that. So you won't even be hurting, I don't think, like ever. I hope not. That's the, that's the goal. That's the goal, <laughs> exactly. And our winner is Lynn Trotter. Lynn, we are so excited that you won. She said that her favorite yoga position is when she gets out of bed and she stretches her neck, which Ooh, Lynn, that's a great one. That's my favorite stretch. one, to be honest with you. Yes. So Lynn, we will get that boss box sent out right to you. And stay tuned for the next show, guys, because we got some great stories for you. We're talking to Jeff Beyer, who is a former Division I football player and who is now the CEO of an awesome fleet and driver management company called Link Drive. So stay tuned for that one. I cannot wait to see that story, Chris. And we are also doing a story about the ARI Legacy Sleepers. These are Ooh. truly home away from homes. Uh, your house, your office, your kitchen, everything in these legacy sleepers, we get a custom wow. tour. We get a tour of a custom truck. You guys are really gonna wanna see That's it. Awesome. And this episode is brought to us by TBS Factoring Services. Insurance for startup trucking companies can be sky high. So work with our friends over at TBS. They can defer up to 50% of your down payment and keep more money in your pocket. Visit the link in the description box below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys, because we can't do this without you. And why do we do this, Brittany? Because you're the boss. I sat down with, sorry. That was a good smile you had in there. Okay, thank you. <laughs>